Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. And today I'm looking at Belize's Chorus. And this is a new app, so new that it's not even out. So I'm making this video on the 12th of July, my, according to my time zone. And it's coming out on the 14th of July. So as usual, I got a few free codes available. Belize have very kindly provided some codes. So look in the comments section and check the instructions there if you want to win a copy of this app. And because this is a pre-release video, the, uh, the, well, if you do win, um, I would declare the winners two days from now. So it should be hopefully on the day that the app actually comes out. So you wouldn't have to wait that long if you do win. Anyway, let me explain the structure of today's video. So what I'm going to do first is just let you hear a few presets. I know you want to hear what this sounds like as quickly as possible. And then I'm going to go through and explain the different functions of the various knobs. And we'll go back and listen to it on more sounds. So um, we're going to hear it on Apesoft's accordion, also their electric vintage. We're going to use skid to hear what it's like on some percussion. I'm going to use a sample from the Zvon Memory Pack 10 to just hear what it's like to kind of add effects onto spoken word samples. And I'll also sing a few lines for you to hear what it's like on vocals. I'll also talk just briefly about what might be some of the differences between this and some other chorus apps, for example, the FAC Chorus, which is really the gold standard chorus app on iOS, in my opinion. Okay, so let's get Fug machine going. So just using a preset here, Borderlands, one of Alexander's own presets. Okay, so this is the dry, wet, Now, of course, when the gain comes down, I mean, you can just whack that up here, right? If something's too quiet. You can see here with these presets that I made just now, some of them I modified the Sound of Israel preset, so I just want give, to give a shout out to him, some great presets here. But with some of them I wanted to change the rate or so on and make them slower, things like that. Okay. Let's go through some more. Okay, listen to this one. You want experimental? You got experimental. <laughs> to me, this preset alone is worth the price of admission. If you like weird shit, this is great. I don't know why this keeps opening off screen like that. Um, if police are watching, that's something that you can fix, please. So we don't have to go crazy, right? We got nice traditional sounding chorus here as well. We can also get flangey sounds. Let's just change up Fuga Machine here. Let's take this for example. And let's just change it over to the accordion for a while.
okay, sounds very nice. Some nice rich sounds there and some very experimental stuff. Also worth mentioning that the parameters are exposed. So that's great. But I'd also just like to mention, I wish that more developers would organize their parameters the way, let's see, let's see. Um, if we get, for example, the, the FAC chorus, and we look at how the parameters are done there, you can see, you can see here that they're actually organized in little sub menus, input chorus, output, and so on. This is great. Um, there are very few developers currently organizing their presets in this way. So I just want to mention that I, I would love it if all developers would do that would be super useful. But in, to be honest, in the case of this police course, it doesn't really matter because there aren't very many parameters anyway. But in some apps, there are hundreds. Um, I'm thinking of, for example, Shockwave, hundreds of parameters, absolute nightmare to find what you're looking for. So this is something that I, I would really like developers to bear in mind. Okay. Now I'm going to First of all, I'm just going to go to a slightly more good interface. Let's get something slowish. Now I'm going to talk about how we do things in here. So here we have the presets and in my last video on Blease's filter, I wrongly said that it doesn't have an internal preset system. It does exactly like this one. It's the folder up in the top left corner. So thanks to whoever was the person who pointed that out in the comments last time. And so here we have this filter section and the gain, as I already said. And we can change the filter type and we can play, play with the filter. And of course we could automate that as well. And let's get Something a little bit weird, maybe. Okay. So, one of the things I love is the scope. So this looks beautiful, but it's also useful. So first of all, we see different, um, you know, the number of delay lines, which is nice, but it is actually useful. Um, for example, if you're wondering what things like the left and right depth are, well, you know, the scope will basically show you. So you can see this is one of the great things that we can have the left and right depth linked, or we can adjust them separately. So this, for example, is one of the things that, at least as far as I've noticed, the FAC chorus doesn't do. It doesn't give you control over a separate depth for left and right. But, you know, the, the FAC chorus is brilliant. In my opinion, it is still the best sounding chorus just in terms of sound, but I do think the Belize one sounds very good. But where I think the Belize, the Belize one has big advantages is in having the scope here and in this left and right separation. It's really nice. I, I feel that you can do some really nice experimental things with this chorus. Okay. So here we have the delay time. 
you can see the only thing that changes here is the background becomes darker. The modulation rate. You can see it's moving faster here. Okay, separate left and right depth, which is brilliant. So you can see here, nothing happening with offset. That's because there's only one delay line. So let's get two. And now we can see how the offset works, changing the phase relationships of the delay lines. So, I mean, of course, you can hear that without the scope, but it really helps to get a visualization of things. And you could use an oscilloscope app, but it wouldn't be as nice as this. It wouldn't be really as easy to see what's going on. Now, you can also see that the width is also doing something to do with the phase here. I think this controls the phase of the main delay line, but I'm not 100% sure, and I don't have the I don't have access to the description yet. Police didn't publish a description of what everything does, but just from an from a sound point of view, when I increase the width, I hear more um, more phase type thing going on. You hear the sweeps. I think maybe it covers the frequency range of the sweeps. If anybody knows for sure, please write it in the comments section. And the feedback is of course really essential to getting those weirder presets, getting the crazy stuff going. And here we have the, the dry and wet. With chorus effect, you're rarely gonna want it 100% wet. Most of the interesting stuff's gonna happen at with some, some mix between the original signal and the delayed signals. Okay. So, let's see uh, Skid here. Oh -ho. I like this. And I love this. Okay, so some potential there for Sonic Mayhem, Iostracon. <laughs> if you're watching this, this is definitely your kind of thing. Okay, um, spoken the word. The industry is working on the final stages of a development that will revolutionize the It's working on the final stages of development. Is working on the final stages of a development that will revolutionize the cosmetic industry. Is working on the final stages of a development that will revolutionize the cosmetic industry. Is working on the final stages of a development that will revolutionize the cosmetic industry. That's really good. The final stages of a development that will revolutionize the cosmetic industry. Is working on Okay, let's just hear what it's like on some vocals. Let's see, default.
ba ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba. Let's hear the dry. Ba ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da da ba 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 da ba. Right. Let's try double something or other. Let's see. Double trouble. Ba da 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 da. Yo, yo. Okay, we get the weird stuff here. Very weird. Okay, what do we got here? We got this nice flanger effect. I am a robot. <laughs> okay, let's see. La 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 la. So we got some interesting filtering stuff going on here. This really reminds me of an old Luke Fibert track. Oh, I can't remember the name now. Really good track. Okay, what else? Insane texture. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I think this is really a pretty cool chorus. As I said already, the main advantages of this are being able to see really clearly what's going on, the width knob, which is something that most choruses don't have. Even if I'm not 100% sure what it does, I can hear what it does, and I like it. And best thing of all, maybe, is the separate left and right depth. So all of these combined give you the potential for some real sonic mayhem. Uh, you can definitely get some interesting, really, really textured effects. I love that. I love that deep texture preset and an insane texture. Yeah, these, these things sound great to my ear, but also definitely very nice sounding for just your regular chorus effects or for a little bit of flange and some subtle phasey type effects as well so pretty versatile little pro plug-in i like it all right then everyone so um even remember even if you're not going in for the competition to win please do give this a thumbs up it really helps the channel and um you know write a comment and subscribe if you haven't and and click the bell if you want updates because there are often free codes on the go all right everyone i hope you enjoyed this Take it easy and see you in the next video.